Hello viewers. I pulled my uh, trailer out the other day. I had it stored behind the house for the winter. And I plugged in the uh, lights and the lights are not working. You can see the... I got the uh, lights on the truck. The hazards are flashing and the parking lights are on. But on the trailer I got nothing. So I'm going to try to troubleshoot what the problem is here. The problem is it's really difficult to, to troubleshoot because for one thing everything is based on a known good ground and I don't have a known good ground. The ground could be the problem or it could be something else and unless I have a known good ground and everything is kind of, this truck isn't too bad but you know everything's either painted or rusty so you don't never sure if you have a good ground or not. I guess the first question then becomes, you know, is the truck wiring good? Because the truck problem could be in the truck wiring. So I got a tester. Let's plug the tester in and see. So as you can see here, I got the two turn signal ones are flashing. That would be this one is left turn and the one on this side is right turn the one up here that's your tail lights and your marker lights and the one over here is your 12 volt all time power so the trailer lights according to this tester the uh, truck wiring is working so what I want to do is I want to start at the plug see if I got power at the plug and then work my way back to each individual light. Right now I got nothing. So I mean we'll start with maybe the parking lights and see you know because those are there's a lot of those and none of them work. So whatever the problem is has to be common to all of them. It's not just one light that's out. So I'm going to take the plug apart, plug it in and see if we can check power at the plug first and then we'll progressively work our way back. There's a screw here. Loosen that up. Oopsie. Swiss Tool X. My favorite multi tool. Alright, this comes apart like that. Now we gotta make sure that when we plug it in that the hole is up. Otherwise it'll be indexed incorrectly. Okay, it's plugged in. All right. I'll turn the meter on. I don't know if you'll be able to see any of this, but I'm going to try to check voltage here. So the green wire, I believe, is tail lights. So I got to somehow get on this ground here. I could try using the frame ground. I can't seem to get a decent ground on this. It's just impossible. Impossible with this thing flopping down and it's tight quarters in there and I don't have a known good ground it's just impossible to work on that like that or very difficult I should say so this is what I came up with to try to troubleshoot this thing it's basically a breakout box without the box so I got the seven wire plug here that I'm going to plug into the truck that goes to this board with a terminal strip so I can access with a meter all of these signals and I have them labeled on here. Let's see. So that's the ground. We got the left turn, the marker lights, the right turn, electric brakes, which I'm not, uh, it has electric brakes, but I'm not troubleshooting that part yet. I might get to that later. 
and then the full time power. So I can check all my signals right there. Backup lights were not wired on this trailer, so that signal is not being used. I ran out of terminals. And then it goes over here to the receptacle, which I have a part so I can access the terminals there. And then hopefully it'll be easier to access the terminals on the other side here. So let's hook it up. up all right what this does for me is it gives me a known good ground that's right off the trailer I got that connected to the terminal strip here so this is a known good ground that comes right off the trailer connector I'm not relying on a painted rusty surface for my ground so I'm gonna hook the ground up with a little clip lead here to my meter and now if I go to left turn, you can see that it's got 11 volts there. I think this meter is slow to update. Right turn. Back to power. Left turn. I don't know why it's not showing 12 volts, showing 9. It may just be that the signal's not there long enough to, for the meter to register. I'm pretty sure that this connection's good. We've shown that with the uh, tester. So now, I think I'm just going to focus on the uh, tail lights right now because that's a known a known solid signal it's not a blinking signal and uh, it doesn't work so here's the marker lights on the terminal strip we got the car's not running so 10 volts lights have been on for a while so it may be correct plus the car hasn't been run that much lately so the battery may be a little bit low so that goes to that's the green signal that goes to the green on here. You can see we got the 10 volts there as well. So now I'm going to try checking it on the back side of this connector. So that would be here. It's hard to access because this cover's in the way. We got it there. So now the question is. How come the lights don't work? This should be the ground. I got 10 volts on my ground. That's bad. I'll check the ground here. I got zero volts. So now, I'm going to go right to the trailer ground. I'm going to check. So I got 10 volts between ground and ground. So we got an open ground connection in this connector because I got zero volts here to ground and 10 volts here to ground so the power is going through the all the lights and then back and then the, there's no ground so it's basically uh, Ohm's law we got the voltage drop across the high resistance point and that's why it don't work so there's your problem lady so if you look at this plug it's uh, all of the terminals in here are black with corrosion, well not corrosion, but oxidation and it's just from the weather, it's just not good. So I'm going to replace this plug and we'll try it again. Another thing I can do is take this ground, so 
a known good ground coming from the truck trailer connector and hook it directly to ground on the trailer and see if that does anything. So I'll hook it right to here. This is a welded on where the safety chain attaches. Now let's see what happens. Looks like the marker lights are indeed working. I wonder if we got anything else. Marker lights work, but not the, uh, well this one's working. So we got one turn signal and one, and on the marker lights. We still gotta figure out why the left turn signal doesn't work, but based on the quality of that plug, it may just be another bad connection in the plug. So I'm gonna change the plug and then we'll see if it works, and if not, then we'll have to keep troubleshooting. So I found this, it's actually an eight foot connector uh, with the cord already on, an eight foot cord with the connector already attached. And since the cord on this trailer is old and kind of ratty, I figured that was a good idea to just replace the whole thing. Now normally I would solder and shrink tube my connections, but I found these shrink seal waterproof butt connectors. I'm going to try them out. I've seen them on other uh, YouTube channels. It's supposed to be a watertight connection. It's got some kind of heat activated adhesive in there that seals once you uh, apply heat to it with a heat gun or a lighter or something. So I'm going to try those and see how they work. Alright, I got a new one hooked up. I still got to come back and finish it. I got to shrink down the uh, butt splices and then the ground. I got wire nutted. That's this one here because I got some big wires and I didn't buy the right size splices. I'm going to see. I might solder that or I might come up with some other waterproof type connector that will fit. Uh, but anyway, plugged it into the truck and it's working. We even got turn signals. But having that breakout box was really helpful and especially just having a ground, a ground that I knew was a good ground that I could use as a reference for troubleshooting and uh, also being able to access all the wires. All right, hope that was helpful or entertaining or boring or something. Have a good day, see you next time, bye.